John Deere drill press. Pine tar, linseed oil, and beeswax mix. It's like a really, really thick grease. And it's sticky to start with until you buff it off. It does soak in quite well. And uh, gives an axe a nice color. Tin mixed mix it all together. Yeah. And I'll do the head after I've sharpened it. And buff that off in a few minutes. Waxes and oils be better with a little bit of a little bit of heat. But it sure does make it look nice. I'm not sure what the camera's seeing, but yeah. We can do the sheath in this stuff, the rest of the head after I've put the finished edge on it. surprised what a cheap little buffing kit for your drill press can do for edges or I guess even your knife work if you're really patient. I did some of my first ones on a little buffing wheel like this with scratchless finish. Best of good compound obviously. Never be surprised I have a large buffer but I'm content with this. Attach this to a drill, a drill, and then clamp it down to a table and use it that way. I'm very blonde hair to begin with. But uh, I'm shaving my arm. Nice. Ready for wood carving. particular job was for a friend. I've done two other of his axes. Um, they've all been natural finished. This one I did a little burn job on. Touch up the edge. And obviously you can tell I thin this handle a lot. This is the Husqvarna Carpenter's Axe. And the handle was uh, quite a bit thicker than the width of the head. 
Um, so it, it had to be done properly. And proper would be a handle that's as thick or thinner with it ahead this way. I'm sure somebody will argue with me on that in five seconds. Uh, but yeah, expect to see more stuff like this, more going along, more whips, work in progress stuff. You've seen the beginning of the video. There's a uh, 1930s um, Walker Turner drill press that I'm working on. Um, I'm on the other side, like the other half of it. I got the head in the E-Tank um, just to get some minor spots that I just can't get with the tools. Uh, so hopefully it'll loosen up the paint in the tight corners. And then I'll get to painting that maybe beginning of next week. And all of that will be, be put back together except for the drill assembly to put a new belt on. And I'll go to work on the motor or, uh, honestly, I'd like to update that with a VFD. So a little bit of old, a little bit of new um, to get some serious use out of it. The motor is there, is old, it's original. Um, and I just, I am not good at electronics. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, more to come. I have a guy dropping off something Monday. He's getting a, a handle put into a head. He wants it done by me. And I'll sharpen up the axe and all that stuff for him, do a complete, not exactly announcing taking all that business, but um, if I could take it this way, maybe not such a big deal. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on. So if you made the end of the video, you saw what's going on.